Hello out there! This is Terconil, and welcome back to the Omega server. We are doing a little more AFKing here above the witch farm, getting, you know, stuff. But, that's not important. Today, we are finishing up the episode that was started last week. So, here is part two of the fish launcher that I was building with Hotshot Scott. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode last week, and here's the rest of it, and... Be prepared for a bit of derp. It will be sung. Enjoy. Okay. So here's the next piece of this crazy rigging. This is a randomizer. Very simple redstone altogether. So the entire point of this piece right here is to act as a pulse lengthener, or it's actually short, or it's a pulse shortener. Um, so it basically, is a, I think they call it a T flip flop. Um, it basically just causes a really quick pulse, which is all it needs to spit something out of the dropper right here. The dropper will feed it into the hopper. Now, I, various items have a different uh, redstone length out of a comparator. It's based off of a 100% um, gauge. So, out of a comparator, if you uh, were, for example, stick it off of a um, dropper, you would have anywhere between um, 1 and 100 going off of, you know, 1 divided by 9. If you want to do the math that way. So, off of a hopper, it's a little bit different. But what we're doing is basically saying if we get a signal of a certain length, it will then turn the system on. And the length I'm looking for is uh, 3. So if you look in the dropper here, you're going to see I have four items. A pick, cobble, a stick, and a cobblestone wall, which I think should still act the same way as the other three. So this causes a 25% chance as the three stackable items will only emit a redstone signal of 1. Whereas the pick will emit a redstone signal of three. Would that so. just would that be because it had this is me pointing out obvious stuff, so bear with me. Would that be because the pickaxe does three damage? Or is that Nope, just... that's just it's that's just how it considered. Since it can't stack, it acts as a full stack. Oh, okay. So basically you can put more, again, it's basing off of a scale of 1 to 100%. So it has a much, since you can't stack it, it will have a much higher percentage value. Whereas the cobblestone and the stick and the wall, you can stack those to 64. Right, so they don't really do much. So okay. actually, let me move this over slightly. So just to demonstrate how this will all you know, work to you really quick here, I'm going to turn the whole rigging on. And you can see this piece in action. If you watch that piston, every once in a while that thing will go up. Ah. Oh. Like that. So now if we right. wait a little bit, you'll see this thing will switch again. So basically it's every 32 ticks, it will trigger the randomizer. You'll see that that piston right here with the granite is sticking up. This just causes it so, because as you can see right now, there's always a redstone signal coming out of the system. Now we don't want this thing trying to confuse the system. So, rather than using this as a pulse shortener, I'm using it as a pulse blocker. Since it can't throw, go through a piston while it's up. It can only go through a solid block. So, while this block is up, the redstone signal is simply going to the piston, causing it to turn on, and therefore push up, but the signal doesn't go any further. I gotcha. I, I, th I think I'm gonna get so... While this is up... It doesn't feed a signal this way? Correct. Okay. Alright, only when it's down, but... Now my question would be, why is this not staying down all the time? Is it because these things are going back and forth? Yeah, because of how this thing works, and there's always going to be... Or almost always going to be a signal coming out of this comparator right here. That I'm above. Okay. Because there's almost always a signal coming out of there, we don't want the system you know, trying to turn on all the time. So I have to block the signal except on certain occasions. So it'll cause a single pulse every 32 ticks. I think, think I got this. Since, okay. 
I did that. I, I feel like a little schoolgirl right now. Bear with me. Oh. <laughs> All right. So while this is on, this shoots these back and forth. Right. Uh, I guess a timer, if you will, which then causes this to shoot up and down, triggering whatever items are in here. And since you said the pickaxe is counted as a full block, when it hits the full block, it says the signal this way, the three ticks that the pickaxe is signaling, which causes these to light up and this shoots up. Oh my god, that was perfect timing. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> so good at this game. <laughs> and we'll shoot up right. Tink. And boom. So, so but did I, did I nail it? Yep, pretty much. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> so now I'm going to go turn this entire thing off. And now we can move on to the next piece, which is linking everything up there together. And do I have a spencer? And there goes an end for the system. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> hey, at least we know that part works. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, right? <laughs> we know it works. It's all good, guys. It works. We can go home now. I feel like this part, what you're doing now, is uh, a timer. Yeah, all this, all these repeaters up here are basically are uh, just one big uh, kind of timer. Did I get this all right? I think I did. Yeah. So how it works is there's a dispenser right in the back here. So if you're looking, you'll end up seeing an oven, a dispenser, and a dropper. Straight back is a dispenser. The dispenser, its purpose is to flush the item that popped out into the hoppers here so it can be recycled. Um, but since a bucket of water cannot be, cannot be uh, dispensed, or the water at least from the bucket cannot be dispensed while the slime block is up, I've got to delay that piece until the slime block goes back down. That's what all these repeaters are. So, everything, these first two rows, their entire purpose are, is to uh, delay the, the water from popping out before the slime block goes down. The second set is to wait a moment after the water is uh, started so that it has a moment to actually release water 
uh, you fully flush the item off the slime block into the hoppers, and then the second row will turn the dispenser back off, pulling the water back in. Oh, so it catches it before... Uh, wait, hold on, wait. It catches the water, but it keeps the water enough, I guess, basically, out of the dispenser. Yeah, and basically, should... the, basically what I'm trying to do here is the water has to be able to keep going long enough that the item that's currently on the slime block can be pushed out of that space and down into the hoppers. You can't use like a piston or anything because it'll get broken. So you have to actually, oh, okay. I actually, had, I had to use water when I was playing with it. So basically I just have to make sure I've got enough time for the water to get into the hoppers or for the item to get into the hoppers before I pull the water back in. So line one is to make sure that I don't break the system. These first, um, one, two, three, what, seven or eight so hoppers, three, six, eight hoppers, or repeaters, sorry. <laughs> Dur, okay. Now it's getting late for me. The first eight repeaters, <laughs> their entire purpose is to make sure I don't break the system. That's okay. it. The second set here, these seven that you have as like U shape, their purpose is to wait a moment before pulling the water back in. Okay. All right, so the water is basically on a timer with yep. the seven over here. Okay. Yep, so there's several sets of timers just of different kinds throughout this entire system. Oh, God, it's all about time with this thing. Lots and lots of timers. So, yeah, if you go and hit that uh, button again, we should actually have it work. Boop. Oh, I see the water. And you'll hear the clickers that pulled the yep. item back into the system. So now, if we were to actually dig our way back up out of this place and in, out into the world... Um, One step if, ahead of you. I got you. You got you. All right. Oh, of course. Of course, I dig up into a glowstone because I just know my paths so well that I could <laughs> find my glowstone in a heartbeat, guys. Don't you worry, your pretty little heads. I got this. Yeah, so right, there's though. our nice little hole. So now I'm going to go and turn this thing on. All right. So we can f see all these crazy parts in action all together. I'm gonna get a gonna get a little view up here. Waterfall. The system is on. All right then. So it's gonna shoot up. Uh, whatever we have in there right now. It's not fish because I gotta get some fish. I could do that. That's not a problem. Yep. Right now it's just cobble. So we should eventually see. A cobblestone block pop out of the hole. At least that's the hope. Unfortunately, that means we're waiting. Can we remember to put cobble in there? Yeah, I have three cobble in there. Okay. Do 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 do. I've done it a few times. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What am I doing wrong? Oh. Shazbot! Well, that's a word. <laughs> What did you do? Or what happened, I should say. Screwed up. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Oh. Yeah, hold on here, let me bring down the cobble. Oh, the phone. Shazbot. That was stupid of me. So, actually, here. You know what? In the meantime, let me uh, get some fish. So now we should see the block popping out of the top. Yeah, I can go to. There it goes. Yay! It worked. Woo! Nice. All right. When I get back over there, we'll start up again. What did you do? Oh, I. 
Remember the part I said about the, the uh, comparators having a certain length when an item comes out of it? Yeah. Yeah, everything was beyond that length, and I forgot to stick a pair of repeaters in order to make sure everything went where it was supposed to. <laughs> so you derped. I derped. Hence the derp, derp, de derp, derp, de derp, de derp, de derp. Well, I kind of figured that out. I didn't know what the derp, de derp, de derp, de derp, 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 derp was. All right, so this is the final version of the contraption here in the real world. And my head still hurts. It's it's large. <laughs> it, it's oh my god! If you, and then also, guys, I did a little time lapse of him making this, so he's just gonna briefly explain it a little bit. I know I probably showed it already, but he's gonna give a quick summary, and then we're gonna go up there and show you the fish shooting out of the water. So, Turk, take it away. All right, so over here on the side, we have an Etho Hopper Clock. This little switch right here, if you want to pay attention. This guy right here, this lever, its entire purpose is to turn the system on and off. So if for some reason you actually want to stop it, you can. All right, then. Very easy way to do it. Just hit that thing down, down is off. Oof, thank God. So, basically, every 32 ticks, give or take, um, if I remember how everything works correctly, it will send a new signal out. This piston right here, you would have heard it click on there. This <laughs> piston right here is basically acting as a pulse blocker so that no redstone signal goes up into the system until we want it to. So when this, sig when this thing comes down, it will send and then a new signal comes out into the, the block. Piston goes up, it stops refresh, and a signal is then sent into the dropper right here. This dropper has four items in it. Only one of them will actually emit any kind of redstone signal worth much, namely the pickaxe. So we have a 25% chance currently of causing this thing to go off. So one item will be randomly spit into this hopper. If we get a, uh, the, pick, the pickaxe, it will cause a signal long enough that it will do stuff. Short version, what happens next is, first, a signal will come over here and into this piston right here the piston will um, be pushing up a sticky uh, or a slime block. A, uh, slime block at the same time as that we will be sending a second signal this way at the exact same moment um, actually I need to delay that one tick alright nice one tick delay guys remember that <laughs> So another signal will be coming up here and going into this cobble block right here. Actually, let me ask it. I'll leave it alone. That signal will then go from that block into this dispenser right here. This dispenser has stuff. Several lots of types of dead fish. Cause, well, we don't have any live ones right now except for the puffers. It, it, it'll do. <laughs> I, I got the puffers and the uh, the other stuff in there too. I put I put puffers and... and cooked. The, and whatever, screw it. <laughs> it's fish nonetheless, dang it. Yes, fish will be fine, flying. We don't care. They're still fish. The second, the third line here is going that way. That The purpose of that line is to flush the fish that have now fly, hopefully uh, come back down the chute and flush it back into the system to re be recycled. So the first eight uh, repeaters you see right here are to delay everything so that we won't try to do the water before uh, the slime block is comes back down. The next set over there, the next seven, sorry I'm bouncing a lot, boingy, boingy, their <laughs> entire purpose is to uh, bring the water back into the dispenser. And then the line right there is what will actually uh, spit the water out. So, that is the entire system put together, oh and there's right in the very back here is a elevator with a little redstone clock. So it will just cause these droppers to bring everything back up and send it back into the system. So that's the very, very short version. <laughs> you could have done that from the day you could have done that from the day beginning. <laughs> yeah, except you're probably going going, huh? I I, I, just, I understood one third of that, you know. I, I think I made my moment shine. So in now that bit. we see a hole. And now the if lovely, we wait a moment, we might the see it go off. The lovely hole, the hole in which fish shoot up. So now we wait patiently. Wait for the fish to shoot. arise. Shoot fish, shoot. 
Shoot you, son of a gun. Shoot. <laughs> oh, you wanna. Uh, there, there it is. is. Right there. It missed. Ah, oh, dang it. And it does have, <laughs> sadly, it does have a chance to miss. But that is why, guys, I'm gonna probably... And you eat the fish, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Call it minor it. payment for all that. <laughs> Fair enough. That'll be uh that'll be your little payment from this. I have to feed you somehow. Um but anyway guys, that's gonna be a little tutorial on the fish launcher launcher. I can't even ignore guys, it fish is like three launcher. Launcher, yeah. It is like three o'clock in the morning. Bear with me on my English. I know Turk did most of the talking, hence why I can't English, but Anyway, guys, definitely suggest checking out Turk's... There's the fish again! Hey, it made it. Nice. Um, definitely go check out Turk's channel. He is the newest member, after all. I know this is really, really late in the video. He is the newest member, and his link will be in the description below, along with everyone else on the server. So definitely check him out. Hey, that's a puffer fish. Dude, we're getting good with this. I would suggest not eating that, but... <laughs> no, that's potion uh, making. <laughs> fair, fair enough. But, like I said... Description, Turk's channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed and you want more of me trying to figure out how the heck this redstone stuff works. Because honestly, guys, the entire time I was scratching my head watching Turk do this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And uh, Turk, got anything to say down there? Nope, just end back up. I hope you enjoy the scene or the hope scene on. Even I can't English anymore. <laughs> Oh, God. D don't turn into me. Come on now. Don't do this. Stick with redstone, all right? <laughs> and I hope you all enjoyed seeing this. And oh, we lost another one. And that's the side effect. Uh, we made it. That's fine. The puffer fish, I'm not too worried about. So. And I hope you all enjoyed seeing this, some of this. It's a bit crazy redstone for a completely asinine purpose, but it's amusing nonetheless. It so. is. Tur Turk likes doing it. I like scratching my head to it, but whatever. So, I guess, guys, until the next video... Have a good one. Have a good night.